Guys, I don't think Andrew's coming. He'll be here. If he knows what's good for him. He'll be here. So I watched some of those um, Star Wars Connect dance music videos. I watched some more of those. There's more? No one knows why. I watched the Princess Leia one where she's in her slave outfit. Of course. And she dances to Genie in a Bottle. Yeah. Except it's like, I'm a princess in a battle. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) I kind of want to find those lyrics so I can read them to you. That is awful. I'm a princess in a battle. Lyrics. You should really change that picture of your eye. It's kind of creepy. Nope. It's to remind you that I'm always watching all of you. (laughs) I can always see what you're up to. (laughs) And when I say I see you guys, it's I see through you. That eye just pierces your souls. Oh, really? Then what's behind me? If you can see Um, through me. A wall. Yeah, actually. (laughs) That's right. You're in your basement. Nope. No, I know you're in your office. Nope. Really? Where are you? Are you in your your room? I am. Uh, Your room looks weird. Yeah, it's almost like you can't even, you know, it's like... It's like like you can't even really see it. It's like you can't even, man. You just can't, can't even. Well, I can, so there. Hey, Andrew nope. Rosberg, son. There he is. Man of the he's hour. got a gun, and he's got a gun. It's all kinds of fun. Hey, there he is. By the way, um, I'm like halfway through book four of The Walking Dead, John. Okay. And uh, Carol just killed oh. herself. That yep. was a horrifying thing. I was like, why? What <laughs> happened? I, I basically, I just uh, stopped at the car when all those people in the, the trucks are coming up and that guy, the governor, is just, you know, wearing the armor and has his iPad. Yep. And just killed them all. I'm like, yep, here it goes. <laughs> yep. Spiraling out of control. So I just want to say that this song is playing um, for commentary and uh, uh, reporting purposes. What song? It's actually playing in the background while you've been talking. I can't hear it. I know, you won't be able to hear it, but it's there. Good. What song is it? Oh my god, someone just dropped a nuke! In a cartoon! In a cartoon! Oh look, he posted a link, I wonder what it is. Oh no. Gross, not watching it. There's it's a move late. in the song called Jar Jar Rock. Oh my god, that is terrible. Why did this game get made exactly? I don't know, but apparently the uh, like the there's a whole bunch of mini games in it. Like there's pod racing, there's like lightsaber battles. Oh and my god! The only thing that works properly with the connect is the dancing. That's terrible. Oh my god! It's like poetry. Oh, it's like poetry. <laughs> I hate it. I hate this. George Lucas rapes your childhood to the tune of $4 billion. That is a thing that exists. If you ever want your kid to commit suicide, just buy him this game. It's a done deal. So you guys you're know that? You're just weird kids. Yeah. <laughs> just, here you go, kids. Fuck you, Dad! <laughs> Every I'm Christmas. done. That's it. <laughs> Star Wars Connect, now in stores. Rage quitting the podcast.
Oh, <laughs> you're supposed to give us a cue here. Oh, I didn't know we were recording. Is that happening? Is this a podcast right now? Oh, God, I have to put some clothes on. Joey sat I... down. Oh, my God. Can you intersperse that in between all the cuts? All what right. Alex just did. You've listened before. Go on. And he's just saying. Oh. All right. Joey sat down. You've listened before, and then it went away, and now it's back. Jelly sighed down. How many honkies are in this picture? Find out how many honkies there are in the picture below. I just noticed in the corner of my room there's a single piece of toast that I didn't eat from my breakfast. Oh god. Just sitting on a plate. Just kind of staring at you? Yeah, it's just like... Why? Jelly side is up. Not down. Apparently, a man in Illinois was killed by a swan. He was uh, he was in a kayak in a pond or a small lake, and the swan, I guess, overturned him. He fell into the water, and as he was trying to swim to land, the swan was so aggressive, it just kept him down or just kept him from getting to shore, and he drowned. Well, see, really, it's his fault for aggravating it. Like, he just kept yelling, Stop staring at me, swan! No, that, stop see, that, it. that swan no, was not no. a fan of Adam Sandler. Who can blame it? My head... <laughs> but that story no, is just pretty foul there, Sean. Oh, it's so good because it's a bird. Oh, it's so good. Mm, it's so good. It tastes good. No. <laughs> Whoa. No, it doesn't. But apparently, uh, apparently the man didn't fight back, so he just kind of let the swan take him over. <laughs> like a fucking him. symbiote. He just, just gave the him. swan and I are one. <laughs> We are swans. Or was it like that scene in Black Swan? So who's his arch nemesis then? Count Duckula. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. We are, we are... That was the saddest thing. This <laughs> Count Duckula. Uh, we are switching gears. This is terrible. You lucky duck. What? Sorry. Stop. I'm sorry. Just stop. Okay. Stop with your mouth. Stop with your mouth. John, just put it on my bill. Uh, we should stop. So moist. So moist. Oh. So moist. Oh my god. So moist. Get it in so there. So moist. Oh. So moist. So oh. moist. So oh. moist. So oh. moist. Yeah. So moist. It's oh. so moist. Are you gonna add anything else? <laughs> no, I just I'm really lazy right now. God damn it. <laughs> oh, Chicote. Still, I'm 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 horrified at how many fan tribute videos to Janeway and Chicote there are on YouTube. It is terrifying. Why have you looked that up? Because I didn't know what Chicote was. I didn't know what it was, so I I looked it up on YouTube and just scad. So moist. So moist. <laughs> oh. So moist. Oh, pack it in. Moist. Oh my face. <laughs> it's okay. 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 Nope. I was singing a nice song about no, food you cake, no, Devil's you Food weren't. Cake, and you were making it gross. Oh, well, that still worked for Devil's Food Cake. Yeah. Packed uh, it in on my face. It's just a really messy cake eater. So moist. So oh. moist. Oh, my God. So moist. What's that? So moist. In my face. So moist. On my hands. So moist. On my back. So moist. Oh. So moist. Oh, my God. So moist. My shoes are soggy. So moist. It's oh. so moist. It's so oh. moist. Oh, my God. It's moist. It's in my bed. It's moist. It's so 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 moist. Yes. Alex is the only one too stupid to hear what you were saying. It was a test, and he failed. Continue. So I hear uh, you guys went and watched uh, Lockout. How was that? 
Oh my god, there is like this space prison, and then all these guys and they got guns and like knives and they're all fighting. They're like super violent because they were like in this weird stasis thing, which it doesn't really make sense for a prison to like just have people in stasis for so many years and then they just wake up and their term is served, but whatever, there's a whole shit ton of plot holes. And then the president was like the worst actor ever, unless you can <laughs> count maybe like the guy who was supposed to be the head of the Secret Service, who had all these weird fucking powers that doesn't make any sense because he like took control of like the nation. Blah 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 and then they sent in this one guy who could only communicate through one liners to save the president's daughter. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. We're all gonna come up with a name of who we would be as a professional wrestler and then a name for our special, you know, finishing move. Go. Wait, we're being wrestlers and our move? If you were a wrestler, just think of a good name for your you know, for your character and then a good name for your finishing, you know, your your finishing final move that that you do. Uh, I'd be the Yeti, and it would be the the goalpost. <laughs> well, someone else can go while while you're waiting. We're waiting on you. Um, let's see. What would my wrestler be? Oh wait, mine just came to me. Oh yeah. Yep. What do you got? Um, the wrestler. My wrestler name will be Gozer, and my special <laughs> attack will be Impaler. The Impaler. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> it all works. It all works. And I'm going to dress like uh, Gozer from Ghostbusters. It's going to be pretty upsetting. Aim for the flat top. <laughs> uh, it'll be great. I think I would be, uh, my character would be called the Mollusk. And my, uh, <laughs> and my finishing move would either be a clothesline move called the String of Pearls or, or the Clam Slam. All right, I have to do the clam slam. The clam slam, despite certain connotations, the clam slam will be my finishing move. I think that'll be even more effective than the ram jam, which is pretty goddamn impressive. I um, the only news story I can think of that I just looked up is is astronomy is astronomy related. Enormous. There is this a uh, huge, huge free floating mass of water, 140 trillion times the mass of all the water in Earth's oceans. Starro lives. Starro lives. What? What is this? He's he's hiding in the water. Getting ready. I don't, I don't get it. All right, we're doing this. We're we are doing this. We're reading this. Hang I on. call John. I, I haven't even read it yet. I'll be me. I'll be me. Oh, hang on. I'm I'm pulling it up. If it works. Oh, I'll pull it up. Yeah, I'll be I'll be Mary. That's fine. That's that's fine. Hi, I'm John, and this is Mary. Hi, we're here to invite you to come to kiss Hank's ass with us. Pardon me? What are you talking about? Who's Hank, and why would I want to kiss his ass? If you kiss Hank's ass, he'll give you a million dollars, and if you don't, he'll kick the shit out of you. What? Is this is this some sort of bizarre mob shakedown? Hank is a billionaire philanthropist. Hank built this town. Hank owns this town. He can do whatever he wants. And, and if he wants to give you a million dollars, but he can't until you kiss his ass. That doesn't make any sense. Why? Who are you to question Hank's gift? Don't you want a million dollars? Isn't it worth a little kiss on the ass? Well, maybe. If it's legit, but... Then come kiss Hank's ass with us. Do you kiss Hank's ass often? Oh, yes. All this time. And has he given you a million dollars? Well, no, you don't actually get the money until you leave town. So why don't you just leave town now? You can't leave town until Hank tells you to, or you don't get the money, and he kicks the shit out of you. Do you know anyone who kissed Hank's ass, left town, and got the million dollars? My mother kissed Hank's ass for years. She left town last year, and I'm sure she got the money. Haven't you talked to her since then? Of course not. Hank doesn't allow it. So what makes you think he'll actually give you the money if you never talk to anyone who gets the money? Well, he gives you a little bit before you leave. Maybe you'll get a raise. Maybe you'll win a small lotto. Maybe you'll just find a $20 bill on the street. What has that got to do with Hank? Hank is certain connection. I'm sorry, but this this sounds like some sort of bizarre con game. But it's a million dollars. Can you really take the chance? And remember, if you don't kiss Hank's ass, he'll kick the shit out of you. Well, maybe if I could see Hank, just, just talk to him. Get the details straight from him. No one sees Hank. No one talks to Hank. Okay, then how do you kiss Hank's ass? 
Sometimes we just blow him a kiss and think of his ass. Other times we kiss Carl's ass and he passes it on. Who's Carl? A friend of ours. He's the one who taught us all about kissing Hank's ass. All we had to do was take him out to dinner a few times. And you just took his word for it when he said there was a Hank and that Hank would wanted you to kiss his ass and that Hank would reward you? Oh, no. Carl is a letter he got from Hank years ago explaining the whole thing. Here's a copy. See for yourself. From the desk of Carl. Item one. Kiss Hank's ass and he'll give you a million dollars when you leave town. Two. Drink only in moderation. Three. Kick the shit out of people who aren't like you. Four. Eat right. Five. Hank dictated this list himself. Six. The moon is made of green cheese. Seven. Everything Hank says is right. Eight. Wash your hands after going to the bathroom. Nine. Don't use alcohol. Ten. Eat your wieners on buns. No condiments. Eleven. Kiss Hank's ass or he'll kick the shit out of you. Hmm. This appears to be written on Carl's letterhead. Hank didn't have any paper. I have a hunch that if we checked, we'd find out that this is Carl's handwriting. Of course, Hank dictated it. I thought you said no one gets to see Hank. Not now, but years ago, he would talk to some people. I thought you said he was a philanthropist. What sort of, what sort of philanthropist kicks the shit out of people just because they're different? It's what Hank wants, and Hank's always right. How do you figure that? Item 7 says, everything Hank says is right. That's good enough for me. Maybe your friend Carl just made the whole thing up. No way. Item 5 says, Hank dictated this list himself. Besides, item 2 says, use alcohol in moderation. Item 4 says, eat right. And item 8 says, wash your hands after going to the bathroom. Everyone knows those things are right. Yeah, but 9 says, don't use alcohol, which does not go quite well with item 2. And 5 says, the moon is made of green cheese, which is just plain wrong. There's no contradiction between 9 and 2. 9 just clarifies 2. As far as 6 goes, you've never been to the moon, so you can't say for sure. Scientists have pretty firmly established that the moon is made of rock. But they don't know if the rock came from Earth or from out of space. Oh, so it could just as easily be green cheese. I'm not really an expert, but I think that the theory that the moon was somehow captured by the Earth has been discounted. Besides, not knowing where the rock came from doesn't turn it into cheese. Aha! You just admitted that scientists make mistakes, but we know Hank is always right. We do? Of course we do. Item 5 says so. You're saying Hank is always right because the list says so. And the list is right because Hank dictated it. And we know that Hank dictated it because the list says so. That is circular logic. It's no different than saying Hank's right because he says he's right. Now you're getting it. It's so rewarding to see someone come around to Hank's way of thinking. But, oh, never mind. So what's the deal with wieners? <laughs> Wieners in buns, no condiments. It's Hank's way. Anything else is wrong. What if I don't have a bun? No bun, no wiener. A wiener without a bun is wrong. No relish? No mustard? <laughs> There's no need for such language. Condiments of any kind are wrong. So a big pile of sauerkraut with some wieners chopped up in it would be out of the question? I'm not listening to you, la 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 la. That's disgusting. Only some sort of evil deviant would eat that. It's good. I have it all the time. <sighs> Well, if I'd known you were one of those who I wouldn't have wasted my time. When Hank kicks the shit out of you, I'll be there, counting my money and laughing. I'll kiss Hank's ass for you, but you bun this cunt, cut wiener karate <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Cunt wienered. I take offense to that. I am not a bunless cunt. Let's let's just think... let's, let's do the last section again. No, I don't. I don't think I can do that. The artistic vision clearly needs that line. <laughs> well, if I'd have known you were one of those, I wouldn't have wasted my time. When Hank kicks, kicks the shit out of you, I'll be there, counting my money and laughing. I'll kiss Hank's ass for you, you bunless, cut wienered crowd eater. With this, John dragged Mary to their waiting car and sped off. The end. Yay! Yeah. Yes. Good times. I feel like that, that was, was an allegory for something. Hey, Sean, you got a pick of the week for me this week? I do. Absolutely, I do. All right, here we are. Sean's pick of the week, musically speaking. Uh, this week, I'm talking about a band called Waters. That is all capitals. That's W-A-T-E-R-S, Waters. Um... 
I found this band fairly recently. They are uh, they sort of coming out of the ashes of an older band from kind of the mid two thousands called Port O'Brien. They were an indie folk folky kind of oh. band from Alaska. They sang a lot of fishermen, like a lot of songs having to do with fishermen type, kind of that whole scene. Sea shanties. Sort of like not not entirely sea shanty, but like kind of that less sort of those themes, like being at sea and like that whole thing. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, I really, really liked that band. I was a big fan, and they uh, they put out three albums, and they're the most recent of which was in 2008. So I found myself wondering, hmm, when is Port O'Brien going to put out a new album? So a few weeks ago, I did a little research, and I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, but uh, I found out that they actually broke up in 2011. And I was kind of sad. I'm like, oh, that that makes sense why they're not putting out any new music. A little bit. Uh, but by way of finding that out, I found out that the lead singer, the front man from Port O'Brien, and forgive me if I'm butchering his name, uh, his name is Van Pierzalowski. Van Pierzalowski. That was terrible. Just awful. <laughs> uh, he's from Alaska, and after Port O'Brien broke up, he formed a new band. Essentially, he just got some different musicians to be in a different band. I don't really know how it goes, but whatever. He got a new band. They're called Waters, and uh, they've released one album thus far. It came out, uh, I think, mid-2011. And I'm kind of sad I didn't find a, find this album earlier, but uh, anyway, I've got it now. Sweet. And it's it's uh, very similar to Port O'Brien in the sense that the guy has the same voice. He has a very distinct voice, so you hear it and you're like, oh, it's it sounds like Port O'Brien. But uh, whereas Port O'Brien had more of a... Uh, they kind of leaned more on the folk sensibilities. They had sort of a hushed restraint, I guess you could call it. Um, Waters, they bring more of a rock edge. They have a lot of uh, a lot of big sounds, a lot of guitar distortion. It's just sort of kind of all around more of a rock sensibility, I guess. Still uh, very lo-fi. Um, I think intentionally not recorded on like the highest end equipment. It sort of gives that sort of garage feel to it. Very lo-fi. Uh, Port O'Brien was lo-fi, and so was Waters. But it's... Uh, this dude, uh, Van Pierzalowski, he's a very great, he's a very, very talented songwriter. Um, the whole album, I mean, all of his work with Port O'Brien and this work with his new band, Waters, it's all very well written, very well composed. The songs, he, he's got a good pop sensibility. The songs are very catchy. Um, and it's kind of cool because it's almost like a Port O'Brien album just with a little bit, you know, harder rock sound, which was kind of cool. Um, Neat. And so far, they've only had the one album. And as far as I know, they had been touring. So I'm kind of hoping for more to come out of Waters or maybe even like a Port O'Brien reunion. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I have my fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's this week's. Oh, I'm sorry. The album, the band is called Waters. That's all caps. And the album is Out in the Light. And there's also a title track off the album called Out in the Light. Uh and if I was going to pick one key track, I'd say uh, there's a song called Oh Holy Break of Day. And that's actually the second song on my uh, mix this week. So if you want to check that out, it'll be linked in the comments. And yeah, that's uh, this week, Waters, Out in the Light. It's great stuff. Cool, 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 Sean. Uh, I actually have a pick for you this week. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't really like mashups, but I found this mashup. Yep. I think you're going to like. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, you introduced us to Lana Del Rey last week. Uh, well, I found a mashup oh, with, God. <laughs> with her and Biggie Smalls. So uh, it's mixed together by this guy named Ter Terry Urbane. And, okay. And uh, it's, it's called uh, Born Ready to Die. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, so I'll link that as well. Um, so check that out. Just uh, look for it, I guess. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to do that right now after this is over. All right, cool. Thanks, Sean. No probs. Intermission. Intermission. Intermission.
Is someone coming back on, please? This is. Pardon me, could I borrow a cup of podcast? Um, we're all so, out of podcast. Oh, guess I'll have to go make my podcast pie elsewhere. Yeah. So, um, what's in the news? God, what today? would even be in a pod pie? Um, <laughs> pea pods and um, portable on demand storage. And oh no, pod I, people. Are we pod people? Oh my god! Can be if we want. It stinks. <laughs> huzzah! <laughs> His last words were huzzah. <laughs> uh, what were you gonna say, whoever was talking before he started talking about pod pie? I was actually just. Uh... He was just asking what's what's in the news. What's going on? I didn't have news because it's going to be cut together with the other thing. Oh. <laughs> so I told you to bring the funny. Oh, I brought the funny. I don't know if you're ready Let's, for it. I'm, oh, it. Oh, oh, I'm ready. Let's hear it. All right. Drop it. Drop it. All right. There's a joke for you. <sighs> I, I actually have absolutely nothing. I was actually going to try to make up a joke on the spot. But that <laughs> Super that racist, tried. really that horrible would, joke. It would have been tragic. You know, not all of us just fall right to racism, Sean. I'm a little offended that that's what you think my only speed is. <laughs> well, Alex has got one speed. Throwing up. Man. <laughs> so I, I just... usually do resort to throwing up, though. That's pretty much all I got. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's my it's my defense mechanism. I'm like a lot of those weird birds that throw up at things. <laughs> do you think they do it to make them seem ill? Like maybe they're diseased? Well, I know that some of the biles that birds uh, vomit either are kind of acidic or just have a terrible, terrible smell. So it just makes them, you know, whatever's trying to eat them, yeah. like, go away. Because it's like, oh, like, it's kind of like a skunk in a way, I guess. Only weirder and grosser. Because birds are just gross all the time. Well, yeah. some birds. I mean, what about the more fastidious, fastidious ones, like uh, songbirds? I'm Our sorry, animals. but all birds feed their young in the same way, which is already gross, and they're all gross. <laughs> Did you know well, Alicia I'll... Silverstone actually feeds her kids the same way? No way. That's it's true. Much. You want to see the video? No, I don't. Ever. No. I never Post need it. to see that. God, why? Who gave you access to the internet, Frodo? I want names. <laughs> you are not allowed to be looking some of this stuff up. Rule 34, man. Nope. If it exists, there is clips of people vomiting it. Uh, well, you gonna post it, Frodo? Yeah, I gotta find a decent one. I don't just have it. Oh, I think you're making <laughs> it up. Now you're looking for some shitty replacement video. Uh, <laughs> all I'm finding you're not so pictures clever, Frodo. of it. <laughs> we, are, we know your tricks. What? What? <laughs> uh, why... God damn it. Ah! Sorry. No! No! That was bad thing. Stop! My Stop god! It. My brother does that to be irritating. Like Do you want to my... be like him? Yeah, Sean, YouTube, do you want to grow please. a fisherman just like Andrew's brother? <laughs> <laughs> a fisherman's life. Then your son will join the Korean mafia and be ashamed to talk about you to his fiance. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait then he'll get minute. stuck on a mysterious island. <laughs> and he'll make the Sittler face over and over again. Oh, God, what... All right, I'll watch this one, I guess. I, I never watch any of the links you send, so I'll do one. If this is bad, I'm never doing it again. It's oh, be- my God. Oh, my God. I already regret this. Something weird's about to happen. Yep. Oh, oh, God. No. 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 That is not what you do for your children. No. <laughs> like a baby bird. I, I, nope, I am never 
that's it. That's it. Never again. I like how huge the dislike is. <laughs> why would someone even film that to put it? Actually, no, I know the answer already. But still, it's just why? Just why does that exist? I. Uh, uh, the things Frodo knows. How to ruin everything. <clears throat> so that was a uh, audio treat for our listeners. So uh, I think we should all we should all probably stop and contemplate on our place in this planet, environmental sustainability. It's Earth Day. We should Earth Day. Is it Earth oh, Day? It's, it's Earth Day today. Yeah. Uh, Did you know? It's your Earth fucking day. All right for for the for Earth Day, I'll, I'll say this for the Earth. Earth, I'm really sorry that we're slowly killing you and will one day succeed. That's that's all I can do now. It's already too But the late. first person to like actually get the killing blow gets a prize. That's true, and they also get powers. I'm pretty sure. Just I some read. guy at the South Pole just takes a sword and just jams it into the Earth, and <laughs> the Earth's just just, <laughs> just 17 like damage points <laughs> pop up above it and <laughs> slain. <laughs> no, nah, Earth's probably fine. I'm lying. Oh yeah. You shake that ass, Earth. Oh. Yeah, you get it. Oh. Are you, are you does Earth, Earth uh, does Earth even have? Like a, are you watching like a sexy Earth dance, Frodo? What's going on over there? Does Earth have an ass? And if it does, where would the ass of the Earth? It'd be, be it'd be right below the equator because obviously Pittsburgh. the equator is the belt. It is Pittsburgh. That is above the equator. That is the cleavage. Well, you're just looking at the Earth in a weird way. That's where the butt crack. Maybe is. if That's maybe if Australia right is the head. Um, what? Australia is like one of the eyes or something. I don't know. Here to answer anyone's question. Uh, hold on. There we go. Hey, look at that swift wind. What the hell is that? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what? Just doesn't answer. All right, what did you put? Why are people so posting? So apparently the so ass things? is Africa. That's that's offensive. Oh my god. <laughs> did you type in the ass of the earth on Google and No, no, I'm just basing it off this picture. Oh my god. And Sean, obviously why would you do that? Obviously Chile is the taint. <laughs> that's so true. Look at how it's positioned. <laughs> just maybe the Volvo. Maybe the Volvo. The picture. I'm putting that picture on the podcast. No, <laughs> you don't need that. Bookmarked. <laughs> this is gonna be a really good podcast. This is gonna be the best. I'm sorry. I just it's it's the goddamn internet. I can't stop interneting. Well, I'll see you guys later. Uh, it's, that was a funny joke. Get it? It was pretty good. You're Thanks. not bad. Not bad. I was a little, I was a little scared to try it because you guys are pretty critical, but I did it, and now I regret it. It's edgy. It. It's really edgy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling it. You're never it's feeling it. Just quite frankly, uninspired, and uh, I, uh, I'm gonna eat a Twinkie to end it all. Don't do it. Do it. Too late. Oh God, are we gonna listen to you eat? Oh my God, we're gonna listen to this. Uh, uh, oh my god. Guys, you want to play Hi Larry? Um, yeah, I guess. Sounds Is it going to really, hurt? It sounds really dumb. Oh, well, this is going to be riveting then. All right, what's this Hi Larry business no, you're we're talking not, about? We're not playing that. It's stupid. Wait. <sighs> you want to know what it is? It's like we, we start off, somebody says, Hi Larry, and somebody says, What Larry? And then somebody says, dot one. And someone says, dot two. And then it repeats. Excuse me? Yeah, it's apparently a game. I didn't get that at all. That's not even a game, though. It's a game. You can't tell me what a game is. The internet does. This week on Jelly Side Down, Earth's legs go all the way up. Andrew <laughs> has a Twinkie, and we play Hi Larry. <laughs> Hi Larry! Or does Hi Larry play us? That was just stupid, Andrew. That was a stupid thing. Shit. Why did you even talk? Get out. Uh, so, you know what we need? Comic mustaches. To give us the confidence to be funny. Um, 
Frodo, find a game for us. I'm Let's trying, see. man. Well, you're not trying fast enough. You know what? Why don't you fucking do something? <laughs> I, I'm looking. I'm looking for good things. I'm trying. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Sean, stop fucking typing. Sorry. Good God, it's so loud. So okay, the first, the first so, one. Oh, sorry. What about all the hilarious content from the Lost podcast? Do we have like the news articles from that? I'm not reading them again because the point of the articles is to get your reactions. I don't want fake reactions. <laughs> you have to guess. Just, you're a monster. An adventure story, and it's gonna be it's gonna be you three versus me. I'm gonna be the book, I guess. I'm trying to find a good the, one. The the book. Yeah, like I'm gonna be the you know the the book master, kind of like the DM, but not at all. What are we doing? <laughs> Um, we're going to do a choose-your-own-adventure. It'll be a short one. Oh, my God. I'm on the same thing. Are you really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been looking for a good choose-your-own-adventure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the one I just found was dumb. Yeah, there's not a, very many good ones. Um, I was trying to find, like, a short one, like, that, yeah. that didn't take, like, a lot of reading. Okay. You are Glail. A young man in his early 20s. Your father is a blacksmith, and your mother is a clerical druid. You live in a small, very pretty town on the outskirts of Sanctum. Every person, even uneducated, knows what Sanctum is. It's the last human territory in all of Hendale. Where you live in the outskirts isn't that bad. Not like the fringes, where the bravest and strongest of men live. Ah, yes, the attacks. Usually it's the orcs. That's when you're lucky. The five-foot-tall orc isn't weak nor stupid, but it's close to both. The only time when they become dangerous are when they are found in numbers, which which they usually are. When you're unlucky, well, let's not speak of the horrors that await you. You yawn and roll out of your uncomfortable bed of straw, picking up a few strands of hay from your tunic. The light from a nearby window, a great commodity, illuminates the cracked rock wall and sparsely furnished room that is your one-room house. You want to sell it before beginning your quest to Gazan. It probably (laughs) will sell because of the window. Uh, your gold is 20, your score is 0, your vitality is 10, your weapon skill is 0. Uh, so we can search the room or walk outside. Uh, clearly search the room. Yeah, they might have a potion. What? A bonus healing potion. Okay. Fully awake now, you turn to your oaken shelves, another commodity, and empty out the contents of a small urn into your hand. The breeze from the window knocks something off off to your hand. Damn, the image isn't showing up. Uh, open image. Nope, that image is lost. Nope, yep, I have no idea what we got. <laughs> okay, so... Our goal... I have no idea what we have, but we have something. Um, oh, actually, it, it might not show us. Um, gold is 20, score is 5, vitality is 10, weapon skill is 0. Alright, so, we must equip it. Page... Uh, the next, the two options we have are shut the window or grab the item off the floor, which we don't know grab what it item. is. Okay, grab, grab the, the item. Eye. You bend at Andrew, the hip. Why are you cutting in and out? All of you guys are cutting in and out for me. That's because yeah. Skype blows. You Alex, bend. Alex is cutting in and out the most. You bend at the hips and reach down for whatever you dropped, but a sudden gust of, uh, blows in from the window and blows the light object under the shelves. Gold is 20, score is 5, vitality is 10, weapon skill 0. Uh, we can examine the contents of the urn, uh, try to shift the shelves, uh, put everything back, and walk outside. Outside. What? Let's, We're not going to we get give the up. thing? Let's just go outside. <laughs> you guys give up? Outside. No. Nope. Alex. <laughs> I want to go outside. This is boring, urn is boring. I have to go outside. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I hope we're eaten by orcs and that urn could have saved us. Uh, 
You stretch one more time, open the door to a small to the small town in the outskirts. The town is officially called Tantum, but nobody knows who named it. It's a small town with much to do. Uh, gold is 20, score 5, vitality 10, weapon skill 0. Uh, so we can go to the library, go to the smithy. We can visit the creek. We can go to the tribal meeting camp. We can leave the town. We can visit the grocers. We can see the nurse at the makeshift medical hall. Or we can go back inside. Uh, Hello, leave the town. nurse. No, okay, what's nurse ahead of the sexy the nurse? Okay, sexy nurse. nurse. Library, library. leave the town. Library. library. Nurse and leave the town. Nurse and leave the town. Arcane secrets. Library. Ugh. Um, so we've got go to the library. We've got go to the nurse. And what else? Alex? Look, the sexy nurse. Nobody said she was a sexy nurse. Uh, she is. She's a nurse. Okay, we're going to see the nurse. You slowly walk over the marshy train to the west of your house towards the nurse's hall. It's far off in the distance. We can make the walk uh, back. We can go back to the city square. We can go back inside. So, do we go? No one? No one? Once? Twice? Three times a lady. Read the options again. I said listen. No one, no one was heard. So we can go to the library, go to the smithy. We can visit the creek. Go to the tribal meeting area, leave the town, visit the grocers, see the nurse at the makeshift medical hall, or you can go back inside, see what the fuck that thing was that fell on the floor. <laughs> I still kind of want to leave the... first. Oh my we, god! We need a weapon. Now nah, let's go fight some orcs with our fists. We could That's use. That's what I'm saying. We could use a tome as a weapon, like like Sean did, and cast pestilence. 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 Status attack. So, so what are sound? we doing? Pick a thing. Library, smithy, creek, tribal meeting area, town, grocers, nurse, inside. Mm. Eight options. Let's put it to Gro- a vote. God damn. Grocers. That's a vote for grocers. I say leave the town. So vote leave for the le- town? You're a monster. Alex, you're the deciding vote. Uh, let's leave the town. Good God. (laughs) You walk to the archways at the north end of town. It is made of reinforced wood. The magicians tempered it with the fires of their minds. (laughs) You grasp grasp a solid wood post at the side of the gate, knowing you've never taken a step out of tandem. You know that once you do, there will be no coming back. Wait, question, question. Okay. The town is called Tandem? Yeah. So right now we are in Tandem? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we can go back inside. <laughs> Shut we up. We can go to the city square. We can, or we can read the note your father sent you about the trek to Gasm. Where did the note come from? I have no idea, but he sent us a note. Should we go back to Tandem or Gasm? <laughs> I don't want to go. Uh, is there an option to smash my head with a rock? No. All right, then let's go to Gasm. So that's not one. We we have to read the note first. So we're reading nah, the note. We can just head there. Just skip a couple steps. So we're reading the note. Cool. I am Kurt. Oh wait, here. Hang on. Hang on. What was that? Dear Glale, I am currently enjoying myself in Gasm District, of our great city of Sanctum. Your brother Langdon and I are awaiting your arrival with much excitement. Finish up your business and come quickly. I also have a business proposition for you. Much love, your father. Okay, so now we can go to Sanctum. There's no option. We're just going. (laughs) Okay. All right. Okay. A small note about the game. I'd like to let you choose a difficulty setting. Okay, so do you want to do this on easy or normal? Nightmare. 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 Hell. Heroic. Inferno. We need to grind for high-level drops. Okay, back to the game. (laughs) Okay. At long last, you have left your home city of Tandem. You walk quickly and silently toward the north, where Sanctum lies. Suddenly... 
in a blinding flash, you remember a time when you were a young child. Uh, you were walking down uh, this very path towards a much smaller tandem. This was about 15 years in the past. Your mother cradled you in her arms and you could feel the fear that pulsated out of her. Something followed you. She stumbled once, twice, and fell. You flew forward on the ground. Did you just sneeze? You can't sneeze. Yeah, sorry. She Jesus. <laughs> A bit of your blood spilling from your kneecap, you begin to sob. But you quickly got up and ran towards Tandem as blackness devoured your mother's once living corpse. No, it was a hollow. It's a hollow from the anime Bleach. That's what it is. I already solved the riddle. All right, we win. <laughs> by the time you've been walking, by this time you've been walking for hours. It's nearing dark. You decide to outset camp, which I mean set up camp. Um, but where? There. There's a fast-flowing river, tall oak trees, the beaten down stone road, and a hole in the ground. Okay, so where should we set up oh. camp? The hole. Uh, hole in the ground. Hole in the ground? Yep. Oh, Let's hope there's snakes in there. Or hobbits. Okay. You lower yourself into a four-foot wide hole with four... F uh, that's It's four feet wide and four feet in diameter. You quickly fall asleep. In the morning, you awake with spider bites all over your body and some clay <laughs> digging into your back. Yeah. Oh, well, time to set off. Well, wait, can we first try to climb on a wall or something? Nope. It's not an option. You stand up, open your eyes, then you suddenly remember. You're on your way to Sanctum to visit your father. How could you forget? Suddenly, you hear the loud footsteps coming from down the road. Okay, so we have two options. We can dive into the bushes or make preparations to leave. Doorway. Norway? You want to go to Norway? I said doorway. There's no, no let's make doorway. Let's leave. Let's, let's, leave. let's go fight some orcs. Um, yeah, I disagree. Let's hunt some orcs. You look away and begin preparations to leave. Yeah. A realtor. Hello, I am a house realtor. Are you from... Are you Glail? Also, you do not have a dagger. I offer one of them for free. Don't accept it. It's a trick. Yeah, don't take it. Don't take don't. Okay, so you can say... Punch him right in the dick. That's not an option. You can yeah. say, yes, I'm Glail. No, I'm not Glail. And the third option is Dagger. Say no. you're not Glail. Say you're not, not Glail. Glail. Something shifty going on. Okay, I shall be seeing you. <laughs> what? Why is why is the real there a uh, tiny gnome? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so we have two options. Uh... Okay, maybe I'm Glail, or we can set out for Sanctum. Set off. Boats. Um, yeah, we gotta get out of here. Yep, let's set off. Let's set sail. You set out for Sanctum, and after many long nights, you have finally arrived. Wow, I can't believe nothing bad happened to us. That's amazing. It will. Give it time. See, this, if you'd oof. have had the dagger, you'd have been tempting fate. We know how life works in these stories. That's true. Okay. You soon near the giant's gates of Sanctum. It's been three days since you left Tandem, and you already feel more fit. The warm sunshine beats down comfortably on your tanned neck. As the giant gates loom up ahead of you together, they must weigh over five tons. They are each over 30 feet high. The scary thing is there is a 10-foot gap between the top gate and the wall. Catapults are attached to the bottom of the wall, and they hang over the gate with their bottoms attached to it so that anyone who heads near the gate without warrant or goodness will be fired upon. Good system, really. Unfortunately, you don't see anyone to let you in. We have three options. You can yell for a guard, attempt to knock the gates over, or you can scale the wall. Probably scale the wall, I mean. Talk to the guard. Ask him about yeah. his life. Scale the wall. I vote guard. Sean, break what's our tie. The, uh, what's the third option? Attempt to knock over the gate. Ooh. What is our acrobatic skill? Do we even have one? Our weapon skill is 1, vitality is 11, score is 20, gold is 20. Oh, God. Let's try and scale the wall. Like a man. Seeing as you have no rope and there are no handholds, that doesn't seem like it's a good idea. You can now yell for the guard or attempt to knock the gate over. All right. Punch knock the gate, the gate Punch over. It right Punch it right down. 
You mercilessly slam yourself into the gate to no avail. You can yell for a guard. Let's leave. Get out of here. Can't. <laughs> you yell for the guard, and your voice easily comes over the wall. Nobody comes to your aid, though. Wow, we are now in a loop. We can attempt to knock the gate over, or we can scale the wall. <laughs> scale the wall. <laughs> scale the wall. Scale it again. Nope. Attempt to knock the gate over. <laughs> no. Nope. Purgatory it is. So do we die? This so do is we die punishment here? for Alex's sins. We don't die. We just never, ever move past this ever again. No, I'm pretty sure we die. That we are nope. in a loop. That's amazing. We win. We win the day. What the hell? <laughs> <sighs> Hooray! So we starve it- outside the town. The end! <laughs> Adventure! Just forever wow, trying awesome. to climb a wall, yell at, the, get, yell at the gates, or break down a door, and just never even considering turning back. I like to think that all the spider bites just drove us mad. Like, we forgot who we were, and we didn't know where we were anymore, and we just went crazy, and then died outside of a town. It actually wasn't even the town. It was just a big cliff that we thought was a town wall. <laughs> that sounds about right. All right. Well, thank you for being our reader, Frodo. I'm sure that was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> you, guys, you guys made all the best choices. <laughs> yep. Well, I, I thank tried. you uh, for taking that super serious, and... Uh... I love that it won't let us walk away. It's like, no, you're here forever, man. You're never going away. Well. Anybody have a funny anecdote to tell? Um. Oh, come on, man. Oh, yeah, you're going to get mad at me for that? Really? That is awful. I've I've seen what you type. Who even knows what I'm talking about? That's not even what you think it is, so whatever. Oh, really? Explain what that is. Dong is something that is used on a ship to push whales away when they're trying to mate with your ship. It's a big stick. It's a, it's a bell so, chime. It's a long Yeah. Time. Yeah. It's different. <laughs> you just thought yeah. it was a penis. Dude. You just thought it was a penis. Are we allowed to say that in podcasts, by the way? Penis? Yeah. No. Really? <laughs> no. It's not allowed. Well, then what's the point of any of this? It's going to get cut out and, and replaced with Popsicle every time you say it. <laughs> so. The other day I was running and I really just hurt my Popsicle. Well, see, so no, no. If you say Popsicle, that'll get switched out with penis. But if you say penis, it's... <laughs> All right. <laughs> just, oh, man. It's so hot out. I think I could really go for a... Penis. <laughs> Popsicle. <laughs> Obstacle. <laughs> Just to be sure, you'll have to say the other word to make sure you get the right one. Yep. How about Pensacola? Pentecostal? Ooh. Pensacola? Pepsi Cola. I like how this is what our podcast is just reverted to. <laughs> just saying weird shit and us. Yeah.